Good morning, my friends. So today you're gonna have a great day, as every day, right? We're gonna have a good day today. Um, today's activity is a special one. We get to do something that I love to do. Miss Cruz loves to cook. Um, if you remember when we drew our hand, Miss Cruz put pots and pans and an apple in one of her fingers because Miss Cruz loves to cook. Fun fact, Miss Cruz actually went to school to be a chef before she was a teacher. So I absolutely love the kitchen. Today, what I would love is for you and your families to maybe make a snack, your favorite snack, or maybe today you can have your favorite dinner and you can work together to make the recipe, to put the ingredients together and follow directions. Miss Cruz is going to make her favorite type of sandwich. It's almost lunchtime in my house, so I'm going to make a sandwich. Let's grab the ingredients first. We need the stuff to put in a sandwich before we can make the sandwich. All right, friends, let's get those ingredients. So my friends, I have my ingredients. I put them right here with me. To make a sandwich, there's one thing you definitely need. What goes on the outside of the sandwich that you hold? The bread, right? You need at least two pieces of bread. Again, I like something on my sandwich. You might not like the same things on your sandwich, but this is how I like to make my sandwich. I put a little bit of mayonnaise. That's another ingredient, mayonnaise. And I also like a little bit of this one. Do you guys know what this is? It's mustard. Mustard is yellow and it's tangy and it's, oh, it's delicious. I am going to make not a ham and cheese sandwich because I don't have ham in my house right now, but I have salami, right? So I'm gonna put a salami slice or two or three or seven on my sandwich. And the last ingredient I'm going to use is cheese. So before I open up any of these ingredients, there's one thing we have to do before we eat and work with food. Do you remember what we have to do or what we used to do before lunch? We would wash our hands, that's right. So I'm gonna go wash my hands and then we'll start making this sandwich. My friends, you remember how to wash our hands, right? First, we have to turn the water on. We wet our hands. We get some soap. And then we have to rub it and rub it all around as we sing our song because they uh, we used to sing our traffic light song, right? Twinkle, twinkle, traffic light on the corner, shining bright. Red means stop, green means go, yellow means drive very slow. Twinkle, twinkle, traffic light on the corner, shining bright. Great job. See all those bubbles, friends? Then we rinse them off. And it's really important to wash our hands now to make sure there are no germs on our hands. Now, before I turn the water off, I grab a paper towel, I dry my hands, and then I use the paper towel to close the water. Now we can make our sandwich. Now that my hands are clean, we can start making our sandwich, okay? So I'm going to start by opening the bread And how many pieces of bread do you think we need? I think I only want two pieces. If you get really inventive and really excited, you can maybe do three or four pieces of bread. That's a little better. I don't have to crouch down. So I have my two pieces of bread and I'm gonna flip them open, right? So I have my two pieces. And next, I'm gonna put mayonnaise on my sandwich. So you gotta open the can. You can't just get the mayonnaise without opening, right? The jar. So I'm gonna open the jar. I'm gonna twist it to open. And you can use a knife, but I'm gonna use a spoon because it's a little bit safer. You take some out and you spread it out. Ooh, I took a little too much. <laughs> and you spread the mayonnaise on your sandwich. Let's see if I can save it. Oh, close enough. It's a lot of mayonnaise. I didn't mean to have that much, but that is okay. So I'm gonna spread the mayonnaise around on both sides of the bread using my spoon, right? And again, if you don't like mayonnaise, 
you don't put mayonnaise on your favorite sandwich. I like mayonnaise, so. When this is done, using it, you gotta put it in the refrigerator, okay? Once it's open, it has to stay cold, all right? So I'm gonna put it away, and we will keep going with our recipe. All right, so I put the mayonnaise away. Next step is, do you remember what this was? The mustard. So I'm gonna squeeze the mustard just a little bit. First, you gotta shake it, because sometimes it separates, right? You don't want it to be watery. You want it to be nice and creamy and smooth. So you shake the mustard a little bit, pop the top open. I just keep making a mess. I keep splatting stuff everywhere. And you just squeeze a little bit of mayonnaise. Ooh, sometimes it makes a silly sound. <laughs> so I like mustard on my sandwich. You might not like mustard, but that's okay. You make your sandwich or your meal however you like. If you like it with less mustard, no mustard, onions, no onions. Some people put lettuce and tomato on their sandwich. I'm not doing that today. My sandwich is gonna be very simple. This also has to go in the fridge. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge and we will keep adding to our sandwich. Okay, so we're following a recipe. My recipe for my favorite sandwich, right? Which, do you remember what kind of meat was gonna be on it? It wasn't ham, because I don't have ham. It's gonna be salami. And now salami, it's kind of like ham, because it's meat, but it has a different shape. Ham is sometimes a square, and salami is sliced to be like a circle. So I'm gonna take some salami, and I'm gonna put it on my sandwich. Let's see, one, two, three, maybe four slices of salami, four, so that I have meat on one side of my sandwich. On this side, I'm gonna put the next ingredient. The next ingredient, do you remember what I put next? In my list of ingredients before, I had bread and mayo and mustard, salami, and the last thing, some cheese, some cheese. So I'm gonna take a slice of American cheese, it's yellow, or orange looking. And I don't like a lot of cheese on my sandwich. Unless it's a grilled cheese sandwich, then it needs to be super cheesy. But on a salami and cheese sandwich, I just like one piece of cheese. Very simple. Now, is it a sandwich? Are we done? Can I just eat it like this? Ooh. Oh, that's gonna be good. No, how do you do a sandwich? You gotta bring it together. So Ms. Cruz is gonna close her sandwich. Awesome. And now you can either eat it like this. I wanna show you what it looks like on the inside. So I'm gonna take a knife and I'm gonna be very careful. Maybe your mommies and daddies can help you with this part to cut your sandwich or you just eat it like this. I'm gonna cut mine so you could see the middle. And you see how my bread is kind of like a rectangle right now? Watch what happens when I cut it. What shape does it become? It becomes almost like a triangle. Do you see that? You can see it here. It's almost like a triangle. And then look at the inside. It looks delicious. And then once you did all of that and followed the directions, it's time to eat. Mm. My favorite sandwich. My friends, great job helping me make my favorite sandwich, following the recipe, following directions. Remember, when you make a sandwich, you can make it with whatever ingredients you like. If you like only cheese, it's like a grilled cheese sandwich. If you like only meat, hey, that's great too. Add what you like to it. You can put lettuce, tomato, mustard, mayo, no mayo, sometimes ketchup. It's all good. You make your favorite meal. I hope you had fun watching this video. I hope you and your families have fun making something today, even if it's just putting some crackers on a plate and counting them or putting some cream cheese on some crackers or butter on crackers. Have fun. Do it together and make a memory out of it. All right, my friends, I will see you soon. Great job. Bye.